Hi friends, welcome to CAD Academy. So this is tutorial number four. And if you want to watch previous tutorials, you can just click link in description. So let's start. So we will design the front bumper in this tutorial. So I will just open our interface that is imagine and shape tools. Okay. So what we will do here is I will select an extrusion command over here. So for extruding, select your extrusion and select the surface which you want to extrude. extrude. Now select the line option and select all these lines like this by pressing control and then click here on OK. Now what we will do here is select this mesh tool and select this. Okay. Sorry, select this merge uh, vertices and then select this point. Now just click on this and merge this in this. Click on this and merge this here. So you can see that extra edge which was here has been removed now. So now what we will do here is okay, just click here on OK and go to this modification tool. Now by pressing shift select all these points and just move that upward along this mesh so like this okay now let's go to front view side view sorry now we need to drag that here so we will just select all that point by pressing control and move that downwards like this that's it. Now, what we will do here is uh, press escape and go to top view. Okay, wait a minute. I will align this top view. With you. Okay, I have aligned that. So, now what we will do here is we will make an extrusion over here. So, select here this extrude and make a sketch along these lines. So from here, I will do that. I will make a sketch on this outer border of car like this. Click here on OK. Now this plane has been created. So what we will do here is we will select all this and we will click here on affinity. Now just zoom, uh, move that along Z axis and just move this all along Z axis like this now click here on or, or you can press escape so what we will do here is we will hide this now again select modification command and select all these edges these three edges okay and now press here on this alignment. Now we need to align on the surface which we created now. So this is the surface, surface thing. And now you can press this. So this will be aligned. Now press escape. Okay. So let's do one thing again. Before that, let me switch the view. I want edges like this. Yes. So let's do one thing now. We will create a loop cut. Loop cut over here. Before that, let's move to side view. And now we will create a loop cut. Okay, loop cut parallel to this line. So just drag that downwards and click here on OK. And press escape. Now again select extrusion and select all these points, all these pages by pressing control like this click here on OK and then again go to mesh tool and then just merge this this into this and this into this ok so what we will do here is select this modification tool again sorry this modification and then select this 
what it is known as translation and select this lines now move that along z axis so i will go to side view first and move that like this okay so the problem here is this is not aligned properly so what we will do here is okay we will do that later before that what we will do here is select this and select all these points oh planes this three planes and now click here on alignment and then on the body and select this surface 3 and then click the, on this press escape and that's aligned okay this is how it looks like we will give the uh, that edges sharp edges like this on this but before that we need to do one thing what that is is select this and select this edges again Select this edge, select this edge, select this edge, this edge, this edge, and by pressing shift, just drag this like this. I don't want this. okay so what we will do here is again select this alignment and we will align it on a plane so this is our plane where it's yes this plane that's it like this and again what you can do here is you can align all these edges also so select all these edges and then click here on alignment and align that along the plane this plane okay press escape that's it so now what we will do here is uh, make that sharp edges so for making that first we will try attenuation so select this attenuation here and select this edges okay up to here only and make that 100 percent now again select this edges and make continuation up to 100 percent this on escape now you can see something has been created but it is not that sharp which we need so for that what we will do is we will create a loop cut in here so select loop cut and just move this loop cut upwards like this click here on ok and you can preview that on other side ok so this is what it looks like and we will do same thing on this edge also so again select a loop cut over here and move that upwards okay you can see that has been created but there is one problem now as you can see this is the problem so to sort out that what we will do here is double click on this and select the point tool select this move along mesh and select this points by pressing control just move that downwards here in the middle and this also move that downwards in the middle again do the same thing for this select all this move along mesh and move little bit downwards like this press on escape okay so this is what it looks like
okay that has been removed now and we will make it more clear after in the finishing touches that is later on so let's move forward now so we will go to front view again in my case this is my front view and now what we will do here is we will drag this up to here so just double click on this okay wait a minute press here on extrusion and select the surface and this one and just extrude that move that up to reset the compass you can reset to your compass from here okay up to here you can move that little bit inwards also press your and escape okay now what we will do here is select this now go to here alignment and select the plane now this is our plane okay wait select your body and select this plane now you can press escape okay it's not doing don't know why yes you need to place it here that's it so this is how it looks like I will see you this and now again what we will do here is we will go to front view so this is front view for me and we will just select all these edges and extrude it inwards so for that what we will do is go to this modification tool and select this all edges select this line this line this line this all this outer lines okay now oh here we need to create con extrusion and then we need to select this sorry for that so this is what we generally make mistakes like this this topology is not looking nice don't know why let's go to front view okay let it be we will make its extrusion down over here so okay this has been extruded you can just try this also and try this also okay click here on right and then go to here in affinity now just make this like this that's it now what we will do here is select this edge select this edge and select your alignment and we will align that align that according to our plane where is that plane? This is our plane. And yes, click on this like this. Press on escape. Now again, we need to do some modifications over here. Okay, just what we will try is select this edge and makes it attenuation zero. Like this also for this age makes it make its attenuation zero that's it now go to front view again and double click on this and select all these outer edges okay now go to top view and move all these edges little bit backward like this 
okay that's it we can press escape okay now what we will do here is we'll do trying to again as you can see this is not looking that great so we'll modify that select this point and move this point here sorry along the mesh this point also along the mesh up to here let that be ok this point little bit here like this ok that's ok now Okay. This one little bit down and this one little bit upwards like this. Okay, so now what I will try here is select this affinity command and select this planes. and now make it 100% or 80 ok now I will save this again and you can see this is what it has been created ok so there are much more deformities here what we will do here is select this each and move this downwards Again, select this each of the downwards. Okay, press escape. Okay, that's it. Now we will modify that further. When we will uh, we will do finishing of all this. We will create a, create that uh, sharp pages, and then we will do that. So this is how it looks like. And now we will move more further. So here we need to extrude this up to here, and then we will uh, make an extrusion. So just select this extrude. Okay. So this has been selected. Now scale that. Or oh, move that. So select the move command. Go to side view. Move that downwards. Okay, like this. And go to its front view. Move that inwards like this. Okay, just make it up to here. Like this. Now, what we will do is we will make loop cuts. So I think so, two love loop cuts are enough. So click here on OK and just move that. Like this, that's OK. Press here on escape and you can just do this. OK. Now let's go to again extrusion command. Again this print view and extrude this. Okay, so select here this modification tool and move that downwards. So what we will do here is select this rotate uh, where it is. This is rotate and just move your axis on this point. 
and now select this rotate select this line select this line sorry for that press control Z okay now just turn this off and then select this rotate command okay and then rotate it like this okay now just see this double click on this and reset the axis now select your alignment and along the plane so this is the plane and we will align this like this that's it press escape go to its top view okay wait a minute i will move this downwards now go to top view so as you can see this is not looking good so what we will do here is we will select this point Go to top view and just move that. Go to top view again. press escape okay so I will modify this select this point move that oops move that downwards or wait a minute control Z move that along the mesh downwards and a little bit here and again downwards move this also downwards Okay, let's go to front view. Okay, that's okay. I think so. Just move that along this axis. <clears throat> okay. Now, again here, select extrusion command and select these lines. This line and this line. Click here on OK and just extrude that up to here. Now again select here alignment and what we will do here is align this along the body, select this planes and align this. That's it. You can press S can. Okay, so it's looking good okay so double click on this go to back view that is my front view and we will create loop cuts on this click here on ok and select here affinity now just wait for that Control Z. Double click on this. By pressing Shift, select this. 
by pressing shift select this and just okay wait 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 all this and move that downwards like this and now drag that downward like this that's it this is kept and then save this okay so this is what it looks like so this is our front part and now uh, we will create this rear part in next tutorial so till then please stay tuned